wanting to apply for a skills assessment with the witnesses on priority because you do not want to wait for 12 to 20 weeks, which is the standard processing time. You want to get your skills assessment approved under priority processing within 10 business days, but you have not been able to lodge an application under the priority processing. What happens? Do you really have to wait for that long to get a skills assessment? No, there are some ways through which, despite having not applied for a priority processing application, you can still get an expedited result. I'll share with you how that is. So if you're somebody whose visa is about to expire within six weeks, witnesses will be able to take up your request for expediting your application, which was, an, which was a standard application, and give it priority. But of course, this is something that applies to onshore applicants. How about offshore applicants? If you're somebody who is turning 33 years old, 40 years old, or 45 years old, within six weeks, you can request the witnesses to speed up your decision and you can get a fast track decision even having applied for a standard skills assessment application. Or if you're somebody whose IELTS, PTE or any other acceptable English proficiency score is about to expire in six weeks, you can request a priority process for your skills assessment application with the witnesses. And lastly, if you're somebody who has received an invitation to apply for a visa from any state, you can provide evidence of that invitation to witnesses and get your skills assessment result real fast. How about that? So if you're somebody who has missed the opportunity of having applied for priority processing, you still have a lot of options to Take your application through fast track.